Okay, I'm sweaty right now, but I honestly felt like that was forever. I still have some stretching and abs to do, but first I'm gonna get started with my first task of the day for work. Drink some green juice and get on with it. Okay, so I finished my task. I'm gonna do some abs, stretch real quick, hop in the shower, and then start my work day officially. Okay, I know I look mad goofy right now, but it was deep conditioning day, and I got some work done in between. I put this on for 30 minutes. We can talk about deep conditioning if you're interested in a separate video, but I did it because I did a lot of styling over the weekend, and whenever I have too much going on with my hair, I always like to make sure the next time I wash my hair, I'm either doing oil or I'm doing deep conditioning. So I got some work done, a good amount of work done. I'm gonna go rinse off, do a little bit more work, and then I'm finally gonna eat. I'm gonna do a few more things and then I'm finally gonna eat. So I bought some sourdough the other day and obviously because I'm the only person in this house that actually eats bread, um, I have so much of it left. So today I'm definitely feeling like an avocado toast vibe with some eggs, fruit, and some black coffee. So it's time, let's go. I'm gonna quickly drink this. I should have drank this already. This has pineapple and cucumber and ginger, cayenne. I heard it's good for like inflammatory in the mornings on an empty stomach. So I've just been drinking it. Has it helped? I don't know. But I do like the taste of it. So that's why I drink it. Let's take a quick bite. Mm. So good. So good as usual. Alright, I'm gonna finish eating, doing my thing for the rest of the day. I'm gonna head out later, so I'll see you then. Alright, so I'm finally getting ready to head out, and I really wanted to try my rare beauty products that I got in my last Sephora. So I'm trying these products out, and immediately I noticed, wow, like, these are making me look good already. Like, I'm really liking the color, the way it feels on my skin. The lip liner and the lipstick from Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty collection, is it worth it? Yes, totally. Like, I'm loving these products. This combo is giving me such fall vibes, and don't worry, all the products that I'm talking about, I'm gonna list it right in the description box below. These are so great. I've honestly been impressed with all the Rare Beauty products so far, and I'm not a makeup person, but these are fantastic. Okay, we're finally going out. I'm gonna show you the rest of my night. I went to this new halal Italian restaurant in Bay Ridge and I got these meatballs, penne alla vodka, no vodka, and this pan seared chicken. Would I say it's worth it? I guess. This was kind of like a 50-50. And then I ended my night seeing some of the spooky houses that are in my neighborhood. They always kill it every year. So I'm finally back home. I'm taking off all my makeup. I keep it super simple, cleanser, and then I'm brushing my teeth. And then tonight I'm using my Paula's Choice BCA exfoliator. Now is this product worth it? 100%. This was kind of like my success on getting rid of hormonal acne. And then I finished my routine with my moisturizer and Vaseline all over my face and that was my day. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this page and I'll see you at my next vlog.